Greetings gamers, it's me, Oval, here to bring you 16 really cool tips to become a better blinker. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number 1 Spacing Understanding the precise range of your blink ability in Destiny 2 can provide a strategic edge in combat scenarios. It's crucial to gauge your jump's reach accurately, as overshooting could lead to unintended consequences such as falling off the map, while undershooting might place you at a disadvantage against close range threats like shotgun wielders. Mastering the skill of controlling your blink distance can ultimately determine the fate of your opponents and is indispensable for success in competitive gameplay. Number to timing. Much like other mobility skills in Destiny 2, the direction you blink in depends on when you trigger the second jump. In competitive gameplay, the most optimal use of blink often entails executing a horizontal blink by activating the second jump as you near the ground, rather than at the peak of your initial jump. Number 3-3 three, three, Second Rule Frequent blinking can sometimes have a downside. For example, you can't blink again immediately after two rapid blinks. A useful guideline to follow is a 3 second rule especially when you rely on blink to reach higher platforms, as running out of blink charges at the wrong moment can lead to unfavorable outcomes. Number for practice. Mastering movement in any game can be a challenging aspect to conquer. Sometimes it's more effective to refine those mechanics in a familiar environment with fewer distractions. With the arrival of the Witch Queen expansion, numerous puzzles involve jumping through gaps. Concentrating your blink ability on these chasms is an excellent method to sharpen your skills. Number 5 Flank Leveraging your movement abilities, there are times when it can be advantageous to blink through or beyond your opponent, taking them by surprise. This tactic proves highly effective, assuming you can blink behind your adversary rather than in front of them. Number 6 Bring a Sword Considering the compatibility of weapons with blink is also a crucial factor to consider. For example, a shotgun can be highly effective for ambushing opponents, but when it comes to mastering blink, a sword is a better choice. Personally, I prefer using Black Talon on my Warlock, but an Eager Edge Sword could work exceptionally well too, provided you can actually gauge your distances. Number 7 Read the Radar While employing Blink can offer advantages over traditional movement mechanics, it's vital to understand both its benefits and limitations. For instance, when using Blink, you temporarily lose access to your radar, unless you have Asha Sights equipped. Therefore, it's crucial to maintain vigilance and check your radar before impulsively activating your blink ability. Number 8 Map Awareness Comprehending the map's layout in PvP isn't just an important element. It's a fundamental aspect of optimizing your movement abilities. With this in consideration, becoming acquainted with every detail of the map will lead to a more effective and agile playstyle. Also, if you haven't already, there are key points on every map used for giving callouts to members of your squad. You should familiarize yourself with those specifics to be an even better player. Number 9 Tactical Retreat Blink serves as an exceptionally versatile tool, serving both offense and defense purposes. Should you ever find yourself in a losing engagement, employing Blink to disengage can be an excellent strategy to regain the upper hand. Such a tactical withdrawal may tempt your opponent into overextending, presenting you with a valuable opportunity to secure victory. Number 10 Sensitivity Now it is worth highlighting that while you don't need an extremely high sensitivity setting to optimize your maneuverability with Blink, a moderate sensitivity level is essential. Blink may primarily operate in two dimensions, but smoothly transitioning in your desired direction after the Blink requires a certain level of agility to avoid potential setbacks. Number 11 Exotic Choice while the majority of this tutorial centers around my utilization of transversive steps, some may be tempted to opt for the Actrocyte Verse Helmet. In such a case, it's crucial to note that the cooldown periods between jumps and the overall jump spacing inherently differ and should be considered accordingly. If you plan to use the Astrocytes, I recommend practicing with this particular exotic beforehand to gain a clear understanding of where you will typically land in various situations. Number 12 Abused the Boop there may be moments when you're suspended in midair, teetering on the brink of falling prey to your adversary. In such dire situations, take comfort in the fact that old Bungo has blessed Warlocks with a pocket singularity, colloquially known as the boop. Deploying your boop at your opponent can prove to be an incredibly effective way to rescue yourself from a poorly timed jump. 
Number 13, avoid lanes. Mastering your blink ability and maintaining a keen awareness of the map can enable you to navigate open spaces and avoid sniper lanes effectively. This capability also allows for cautious peeking of lanes when you're uncertain about potential observers. However, exercise caution when using this. Timing is crucial. Blinking too early or too late can result in getting eliminated before even reaching cover. Number 14, it's super compatible. When harnessed effectively in tandem with your super ability, Blink can yield remarkable results. For example, an Arc Staff Hunter can employ Blink to capture Guardians who might have otherwise eluded it. Similarly, using Blink with Nova Warp proves highly advantageous since it doesn't deplete your super energy, enabling you to transverse the map in mere seconds. Number 15, Mid-Air Directional Control. It's a lesser known fact that you can control the direction of your blink while in mid-air, offering a valuable means to dodge potential threats while airborne. Nevertheless, mastering this technique requires practice and should be employed judiciously. Personally, I employ this method while wielding the Talon, as it often suspends you in mid-air long enough to execute a swift descent via blink, serving as a Warlock's equivalent to a ground pound slam move. Number 16, Apex Blink. While we've explored blinking in various directions, there are situations where executing an apex blink can prove highly advantageous. This involves triggering your second jump at the peak of your initial jump, achieving maximum height. Instances where your opponent is in pursuit around a corner or when invading an oncoming threat like a T-crash are perfect scenarios for employing this maneuver. However, exercise caution when doing so. If your adversary anticipates your landing location, your chances of survival will diminish significantly. Bonus, Astrocyte Verse buff. With the advent of the new season, the exotic helmet Astrocyte Verse has received a few buffs. Equipping the Astrocyte Verse will make any adversary within 10 meters to become volatile. Volatile targets not only take increased damage, but also have the potential to explode when sufficiently damaged. This synergizes wonderfully with Blink, particularly in situations where a strategic retreat is necessary, as opponents are less likely to risk overextending. Furthermore, when using the Dark Blink ability in Nova Warp, you no longer experience Ability Drain, significantly enhancing maneuverability during the Super. However, it's worth noting that employing the Super in Trials may not be the wisest choice, as it takes a full 7 minutes with 100 intellect to charge, while most matches conclude within about 6.5. And now it's 16 tips to improve your Blink game in Destiny 2. Hopefully you learned something from this, and if you have any tips for me, feel free to share it in the comments below. A special thanks to my buddy Top and Monkey for helping me make this video, and I'll see you Guardians next time. Bye for now.